the method which we looked at where we had the signed values so where's my ballpoint pen where we had this as being 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and on this side we had 0 again this time minus 1 ah, minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 converting it this way is actually bad and I'm going to show you why it's bad let me give you a sum so we're going to have 0 1 0 0 plus 1 0 1 1 signed. So let's have our values at the top. 1, 2 and 4. We don't include this number here. So we're dealing with 3 bits. 1 bit, 2 bit, 3 bit. So we know that this number here is a positive number because it's a 0 and it's a positive 4. We know that this number here is a negative number and it's negative 3. So really what we're saying is 4 plus minus 3. Now if you don't know what this, the answer is to this, get a calculator out. 4 add minus 3 equals 1. So it's basically saying what's 4 minus 3. So when we do this sum here, it should equal 1 in binary code. Let's have a look. We know that 1 add 0 is 1. We know that 1 add 0 is 1. 1, we know that 1 and 0 is 1, which equals 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7. So we're saying using this method of converting these numbers in, from positive to negative, that 4 plus minus 3 equals 7. That is wrong. Using this method, therefore, is wrong. Let me give you another example. So, let's hope it undoes everything I need to. Okay, let's ignore this one and let's do another one down here. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, oh, 1, 1. One. Okay, we're doing a sign calculation again. So, what will this number be, and what will this number be? Work it out. If you say that this number is seven, correct. If you say that this number was negative three, correct. So the answer we're looking for should be 4, if we did this sum. Let's have a look. 1 add 1, as we know in binary terms, it's going to give you a 0, carry the 1. 1 add 1 add 1, we know is 1 carry the 1. 1 add 1 is 0 and carry the 1. Now the very fact that we're made to carry the 1 it means it's an overflow because remember these numbers don't count. But also let's work out the answer so let's put a placeholder values 1, 2, 4. 7 plus minus 3 in this case equals 2 which is incorrect so yeah again this method of converting is wrong it's not useful it's easy to see on the human eye but it's not an accurate way to do converting if you want to use additional subtraction
I'm going to give you one more little reason why it's bad using this method of converting positive to negative numbers. And that is this. We've got two zeros, two version of zeros. So really we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Imagine this was a number line. We've then got minus zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Having a positive zero and a negative zero is bad. It's bad because it'll create errors and also it's inefficient. It will make things slower. So that's what you need to know. You need to know two things. Number one, using addition, using this method of simply flipping it, of simply just adding, changing this, uh, the flag to a one, it means that addition and subtraction won't work. And also it's inefficient because we've got two zeros. So I'm going to teach you in the next videos another way of turning a positive number, let's say positive 4, into minus 4. But it's using a different method.